So welcome to episode 92 of the Clarity Compressed Podcast. My name is Paul J. Daly, and I will be your host. Today, we are talking with the host of a podcast that is on iTunes New and Noteworthy, the one and only Alex Sanfilippo. Clarity can only really exist in the light of truth. Branding just isn't a tactic. It's a lifestyle change. Every week I give a moment of clarity, but this week the interview is so good that I don't want to waste any more time with the moment of clarity. So we'll see you next week on the moment of clarity. I'm so excited for what he's going to show me. Hurry up and show me Paul's pick. This week, my pick is wearing things. That's physical clothes that remind you of the things you know are true. Earlier this week, I had a moment where I was a little fearful and discouraged because I'm about to release a workshop into the world and there's all this judgment that can come with that. And I realized that I needed to have courage. So I wore the shirt that you see in this clip, which is a really killer lion that has an eye patch. Like he's been in a fight and I realized you only have courage when you're afraid. So wearing that shirt actually gave me courage and reminded me of the things I really wanna believe and I really know are true. So my pick for this week is wearing things that remind you of the truth that you know. That's my pick for this week. So today's guest, as I mentioned in the intro, um, started a podcast and very quickly it began began to gain traction in the iTunes world and eventually got to the coveted spot of Apple's iPod, uh, our iTunes new and noteworthy podcast in business and entrepreneurship. Now, Alex takes a, a it's called Creating a Brand. It's a Creating a Brand podcast. And we so in this episode, we talk about brand um, in the sense throughout all levels of business. Now, Alex comes at, at it from a real unique perspective. He's just not a guy who started a podcast in his basement and he wants to tell everybody how to run business. Alex actually has legitimate experience all throughout the levels of business, uh, right now even still serving as an executive in an aerospace company. So he's been in the aerospace industry all the way down to startup entrepreneur, right? So he has this great uh, level of perspective and experience. I think you'll have a, uh, get a lot of good insight from this conversation I had with Alex. And I'm just really happy to share it with you from someone who actually has experience across the spectrum from executive level right down to solo entrepreneur. So your, your podcast, you talk a lot about creating a brand, mm -hmm. right? And you, yeah. you have different people on there. From my observation of the episodes that I listen to, it seems like um, there's a lot of interchangeability and a lot of compatibility with the word business, right? Yes. So brand on one side and business on one side. Um, when I talk about brand, it's in a certain lane, but I'm just really curious, like what is your perspective on what brand is today's economy and today's marketplace? Yeah, what is so brand? Brand, I mean, at the end of the day, I think that this is becoming more and more popular for people to talk about, but like each of us, we we are the brand ultimately, right? And what we decide to do with ourselves, our lives, that's going to be what our, our brain's going to, our business is going to be reflected from that brand that we do for ourselves, we make for ourselves. So, and I, I believe that everything that you do with your business is reflect a reflection of your brand, which again goes back to you. But something as simple as like a a logo or the design you choose, it mm -hmm. reflects you as a person. Um, and you know, the start ugly is something that I'm a firm believer in. Like it doesn't even be beautiful <laughs> when you start it at all. But um, you know, when you see somebody that's been doing business for four and five years and um, everything is just a little bit sloppy, I'm not trying to be mean or anything like that. It's, it's really sloppy. That's a reflection on them as a person, their their brand that they have created. Yep. So to me, it's just that that's not really important to them. So what what is important. Then let's find out what really gets them going. So for me, like when I'm, when I was thinking about the podcast, I was thinking about, okay, creating a brand, what does that mean? So for me, it means the business side, but also the personal side. And that's why I like today's episode that went live was about sleep, about how to get better sleep. Because at the end of the day, we're only produce good results if we're getting good sleep because a lot of what we do flows from that. So mm -hmm. uh, I believe that the brand goes back to us, but it also, it, it's an overflow. So it can't just be us thinking about us. It's how we're going to reflect and personify to the world around us. You know, it's, you said, you know, it's becoming a more popular topic to discuss. Yeah. And, you know, the problem with buzzwords, it's like once something becomes a buzzword, it starts to get stripped of its actual meaning. And yeah. <laughs> so like, I th feel like the con like brand this year specifically, I mean, kind of over the years, you've seen it ramping up over the last two or three, especially when the term personal brand came into like our vernacular. Right. Um, so, so there is, I, I feel, I feel like a responsibility to kind of maintain like the word brand and like, okay, we got to, we have to still define the parameters of this conversation because right. 
brand can get off the hinges that all oh, that's on brand, off brand, that's my brand, your brand, personal brand, business brand, right? And then all of a sudden it's just brand, 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 brand. And then nobody knows what anybody's talking about. So yeah. Um, so the, the lane that you're taking, if I'm hearing you right, is like your brand is actually a reflection of you. Yes. And that's your decision to do things in a certain way operationally, your decision to market in a certain way from an aesthetic standpoint with logos. Am I hearing that right? Yeah, absolutely. Yep. And and that, that stuff follows. Like day one, I didn't have a pretty website. I, I had broken pages and things like that. But long yep. term, it's what are you doing to develop it further? And yep. that's that's just my kind of opinion of it. Because like you're saying, we're kind of stretching the meanings or of what a brand is and what it could be. Yeah. Five years ago, if someone's talking about a brand, they're assuming you're talking about you know, a computer company, like I'm looking at yeah. Logitech speak right now, you know, that's like Logitech, that's, that's, that's what that it. is or Yeti. So, right. but what does it, what does it mean to you? I'd love to actually hear your thoughts as well. Like, what does that mean in your yeah. book? So, um, the, the way we approach, and actually this has been such an issue that we just finished producing and we're about to launch next week, a full scale workshop on, on brand. It's called Come brand. On. It's called brand is gravity. I'll show you some stuff after the podcast. For sure. Yeah. And it, for me, the way we approach it and the way I personally approach it, I say, I follow, you know who Seth Godin is, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm sure. So yeah. Seth Seth established a really uh, solid stake in the ground years ago when he said, you know, brand is the feeling that you get that when you see, hear, relate to, interact with a company, a business, and that that feeling is actually what draws you closer to them or mm -hmm. repels you. It draws you toward purchasing decisions or against it. So there you have it. I think that we uh, hit the bell on that one. So that's it for episode 92. Thank you so much for spending some time and attention here with us, here with me, here with Alex. And I hope you have an amazing week of just doing something. Start ugly, get it going, make progress, release it into the world. And that's it. I hope you do it this week. That's your clarity for the week. Episode 92 in the can. See you soon. Yeah. Yeah.